Chapter 5 of Angel Food Little Talks to Little Folks by Rev. Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Follow the Leader. Do you ever dream? Sure, you do. You dream lots of times, especially if you eat too much before you go to bed. Sometimes we dream about tigers and elephants and airships and a million other things. And sometimes our dreams scare us so that we wake up right in the middle of our dreams. About a month ago, I had a dream. It was a lovely dream, and I think that I should tell you about my dream this morning. Well, in my dream, I saw a long road, a road stretching from the ground away up through the air, away up into the sky, right up into heaven. It was an awful rough road, and the road was all sprinkled with little tiny pieces of glass, old rusty nails, and little sharp stones. People were trying to walk along the road in their bare feet. Some of the people got nails in their feet. Some of them cut their feet on the glass and the sharp stones. They were having an awful hard time trying to walk along the road. They were having a mighty hard time trying to get to heaven. But then, in the dream, I saw Jesus come along. He was in his bare feet, too. Jesus walked very slowly, and he was very careful. Up the road went Jesus, and never once did he cut his feet or get a nail in them. Up and up Jesus went, and finally he got up to heaven, and there he sat on a big gold chair, watching the other people climb the hill and waving to them to keep on trying. Pretty soon, Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, and she was wise. Do you know what she did? She just walked right in Jesus' footsteps. Wherever Jesus had walked, Mary walked in the same place. And why, in no time, Mary was up at the top of the hill, up in heaven with Jesus. Jesus made his mother Mary sit right next to him on a big chair. Then Mary, too, waved to the people down at the bottom of the hill to walk in the same footsteps and come up to heaven. And the wise little boys and girls did just that. They, too, walked right in the footsteps of Jesus, and they never hurt themselves. And before long, they were right up in heaven with Jesus and Mary. Of course, there were some boys and girls who wouldn't walk in the steps of Jesus, and you can guess what happened to them. Why, they cut their feet, and they never reached the top of the hill. They never got up to heaven to be with Jesus and Mary. Wasn't that a swell dream? Of course, it was only a dream, but how true that dream is. It's a hard road up to heaven. It takes a long time to get up there, but the little boys and girls who will follow right in the steps of Jesus and Mary, they will get up to heaven very easily. And the boys and girls who won't walk in the steps of Jesus and Mary, they are going to have a hard time. They will never reach the top of the road. They will never, never get to heaven. You know, one time a man asked Jesus how he could get to heaven, and Jesus only said, Follow me. He told the man to walk in his steps, and he'd surely get to heaven. Why, it was just like my dream. What does Jesus ask us to do? Not very much. All that Jesus asked us to do is to keep ten rules, ten laws. And if we keep those ten rules, we will surely get to heaven. Jesus asked us to pray, not to swear, to go to Mass on Sunday, to obey our parents, not to fight or steal, not to tell lies. Why, when you come down to it, Jesus asks hardly anything of us. He certainly doesn't ask us to do anything hard. Yes, sir, it's a cinch to get to heaven. It's easy to get to heaven. It's very easy to get to heaven if you will only walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Jesus is our leader. Let's follow the leader. End of chapter 5